Okay, Scott, one other thing here. If you're doing a martial art and you're confronting someone, where is the last place you would like to be? Why don't you want to be in front of them? Can he see me? If he knows how to kick, can he kick me? Can he punch me? He can do a world of damage to me. Okay? Now, if, if I do it kind of the, the basic way and I come here, I've gone off to the side a little bit, but can you look towards me? Can he see me? Yes. Look at my left kidney. Can you reach the hand around your right hand? Okay. So I, I'm in a better position than when I started, but I'm still not out of danger. Now, if we're doing this, he's totally off balance, and I'm into his blind spot, his outside flank. Okay. Okay. And one other thing, look, if I let him grab me here, you guys know what Hami means? What does Hami mean? Hami means, huh? I'm sorry? Oh, the widow maybe? Very good. We have a, a, a Japanophile there. Okay. Hami. Okay, the stance. It means half body, literally. Okay. Where is he relative to me? Right in front. Okay. Now watch. There's another stance in Aikido that is related to the sword. Does anybody know what the term is? Someone said it. Okay. But what I've done is I've moved from here to here and I turn my hips. We get a, a greater reach this way. And we make our target smaller. Instead of giving him a full front posture, we're doing this here. And also, one other thing here. Can he see me clearly? Not anymore. Okay. All right. So I, I'm going to move right along. Let's look at some assumptions here. And for me, was it uh, is it Kathy? Okay. 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 Grab me as strong as you possibly can. Okay. Good. Now grab me strong. Now grab me strongly. Now grab me strongly. Grab my elbow. <laughs> Why would anybody grab it? Thank you. Grab me strongly. Stand there and meekly get grabbed and be uh, placed in a dangerous situation. We can make small adjustments. Sometimes they're so subtle he won't even notice. If, if he grabbed me here and I just went like that, if I didn't say anything and he had not seen it before and he had not heard my lecture, he wouldn't even notice what's going on. But I totally created a different situation where I have the advantage, where I'm in control. 
Okay? So what I would like you to do now is when your partner comes to grab, instead of allowing him to grab strongly, and please grab your partner seriously. Hold oh, help. I'll grab you. This is feeling wrong. Put this energy into your movement, because you'll train your body and you'll train your mind at a higher level than if you go, I love Aikido, it's a wonderful one. <laughs> okay. No, come. Try something different. come here, you may get a thumb, or you may be able to uh, interlock the fingers and do things here, like that. So you don't have to stand here <clears throat> passively and put yourself at a disadvantage. So experiment with moving your hands around, start with wrist turns, then maybe you can start moving your elbow, and watch how it makes it very difficult for him. And also watch how his posture is altered. Okay, uh, grab him. All I did, I turned my wrist up, but it completely altered his posture. Okay? So experiment and pay attention to how your partner reacts to your movements. How you guys? Thank you.